Hey family, welcome to Swift Intuitions. If this is your first time or not your first time on my channel, hey family, welcome, welcome. Mi casa, su casa. Like and subscribe. Let's dive into this night or whenever you get this energy. Message of the clarity and truth. Most high, what's coming towards our collective? <laughs> what's coming towards our collective? All right, ooh. Okay, first thing I see is I'm up to no good. Don't trust me. <laughs> Spirit say somebody is coming towards you, family, that you really should have your guards up with. It's like, if this is a past lover, this is someone that is very manipulative and they're really out for themselves. I feel like the reason why this person is coming back in is because they see an opportunity. It's something that you've been doing, something that you've been promoting that they see abundance in. They see some type of um, gains. And right now, Spirit says, uh, don't trust this person because they're coming in about to speak, speak, spit or speak a good game for the blind. <laughs> and... Uh, and Spirit just say, you know, be mindful because this is fake love. I say there's fake love. Spirit says fake love around. So I feel like there could be a lot of fake love around you, coming towards you. People from, it could be some people from the past that you know you really don't have dealings with. Or new people that are coming in that don't even know how magical you are and that you can read through bullshit. So they're coming in to try to see what you're truly about. What are you truly be truly capable of at this time i feel like the way that they see you is in an abundant light but they don't know you to know who you are so i feel like they're about to get they're about to get a lesson on who the fuck you are <laughs> the next thing i see is warning warning <laughs> Bro, this is a warning, warning. Answer is no. So whoever this is coming back or coming into you, Spirit says all the red flags are going to be up. You're going to know immediately who this motherfucker is. Spirit is saying whoever this is, do not trust them. I am up to no good. Do, don't trust me. And this warning, warning, the answer is no. This is somebody who is used to confusing people. This person likes to uh i'm chasing you now see and this person likes to to confuse people they like to leave people in this limbo type of energy and for those who somebody's hitting you up right now or somebody from past hitting you up right now like right before or right after even during you watching this spirit says they the ones <laughs> don't do it it says uh manipulative male so this person is a manipulator. This person, I told you, this person is very, very manipulative. They um, they show you what you want to see. They say what you want to hear, but they're nothing like what you desire. And then we have might be going to jail. So, so for some of y'all, this person could be going to jail for some things that they have done in the past. This period, this could be mental jail, physical jail, or spiritual, uh, spiritual jail. And right now, this is somebody that is feeling trapped. And if this is the case, they could be coming towards you because either to get their mind off it or, or, or something where they feel like you could either help them or free them up of some type of energy that they are in. Most high, what is, what's coming from a powerful, brilliant collective? Messages of love and light. Clarity, truth. Messages of clarity and truth, most high. Oh, short. What is... Okay, right now for I'm up to no good. We got, okay, so right now with this happiness and playfulness and joy, this person is coming towards you because they see that you are uh, you are in an energy of wish fulfillment. You're in an energy of getting what it is that you truly desire. With this mirror, I feel like this you you show this person themselves, and that's something that they kind of hate. They hate a motherfucker that can see through them. But this person says, even though you see right through me, they still gonna try to come with some bullshit. <laughs> that's some shit. Messages of love, clarity, and truth. Mm -hmm. With this confuses others. Right now, you don't want to talk to this person i feel like this person knows that this person is in this energy of trying to come to you without any 
without hesitation they trying to hear up and run towards you because they feel that you are leaving you have left the building when it says fake love around you it's fake love around you but because you're ascending you are proving you are putting in the work you are you are overcoming obstacles you are you're able to see people's um uh, uh, intentions and right now with this manipulative man, this person hasn't healed. They're still, they still haven't healed from the things in their past, their traumas. And it's like they want to come unhealed, damaged, and wounded and want to bring all of that drama to you. It's like the bag lady who want to stay with you, but they got a whole lot of fucking bags. Like, bitch, you ain't even got no house. How the hell you got, you got a couch and shit. You supposed to be staying with somebody. You ain't got no layaway or something. You want all this shit to come in? Fuck no. Last time that happened, I got roaches. I'm not about to play with you. <laughs> I'm not about to play with you. And with this warning, answer is no. I feel like this is a person. Y'all are separated. This is an old fleeing. This is an old relationship, an old situation, an old entanglement. -ship. And spirits, so this person want to come back in with the same thing. And your answer is warning, warning, no. Also, I see right now, because you separate, this person is talking to their they friends about how should they come in to you because they really, they really don't know how to... This person don't know how to approach you because you changed. You're no longer taking that bullshit. And with this might be going to jail. Uh, this person about to come in. You know, I like you. I really want to make this work. They about to come in begging, begging, begging just to thinking about you, baby, baby. Yeah, but this motherfucker still coming through. Probably about to stab you in the back, man. Why? Because they see that you are stable. They're looking at you as security. This person is looking at you like a meal ticket. You can meal ticket these nuts, bitch. I ain't got nothing for you. All right, family. I told them already, but you can tell them when they come through, when they walk through. All right. I love you, family. Love yourself. Remember, we are the guys. And it ain't shit we can't see.